So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can import our characters into Unreal Engine and then also set up these rig controls so you can actually do the animation within Unreal Engine if that is your jam. Make sure you like and subscribe. Ah. So let's kind of just stick with Character Creator at the moment. I'm going to throw in an animation and there we go. Now he's just having a bit of a conversation with himself. From here, file, export, we're going into FBX, all character props and camera, I don't really care. To the top, we're going to have Unreal Engine selected. I'm going to export the mesh and motion. Let's do current animation as well, all of it. Going to enable the delete hidden faces, merge beer and browse into one object, just makes life a little bit more easier. And then I'm just going to go export, yeah, 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 yeah. Save that character somewhere. Let's go save, yes. Over into Unreal Engine, there's two things we need to do. We need to go up into Marketplace and download the free add-on, Reillusion. And we're gonna click on CCUE Control Rig. I've already installed it on 5.3 and 5.4, so I don't need to do that. And as well, we need to download the auto setup for Unreal Engine. Uh, should be a link in the description for that. Go ahead and install all that jazz. Well, the one thing. Next, again, let it all install. And then once it's done, now this folder will open up. Now these are the setups for the auto setup for Unreal Engine, the character created materials and such. We're gonna open that. Let's control C on that puppy. Now I am gonna copy the 5.3 because my project folder is 5.3 that I'm gonna be installing it on. So we can see our main project file. Let's just click and drag that in there. Import those files. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. If you've already got the project open, you're gonna to have to close and reopen. Now, if you don't have the two icons up here, we just have to enable them. So we go edit plugins under installed. We should have Reillusion. And as you can see, we've got character creator UE control rig already ticked and the auto setup one as well. Let's just close that tab. From here, I am gonna select the CC setup action and have HQ shaders just to make sure that, you know, it looks schmick. From here, let's just create a folder where we're gonna save our character. Character, original name. Go to the place where we exported the file. We're just gonna click and drag that puppy in there. Minimize this window. And from here, we're gonna make sure we use TO as reference pose is ticked. Import morph targets, ticked. And also if you've got animations, which we do, we're gonna go import animation. Let's import all. And then we're just gonna give it a moment. Sweet, from here, I'm gonna click and drag this guy in. Let's click on execute CC control. Just give it a sec Rooney. Awesome, nothing has happened just yet. But just give me a moment. From here, it should be able to delete him, bring in our blueprint. From here, up the top, add a level sequence. Uh, let's just dump it somewhere. Save. Now I can select my character. Let's go into track, actor to sequencer, add CC rig. And now when we come in, we can see that we've got a whole bunch of stuff. So from here, I've already turned on create shape keys when changed, um, and this will create it on all. From here, if I want to do manual animation, um, with the CC body rig, I'm just going to press a plus sign so everything has a shape key. And so now when we've moved to kind of like the next frame, for instance, we can go ahead and start posing the chap. Uh, what do you want to do? You want to go sneaky, sir? And then we'll give him a bit of a rotation so you can kind of see how we do all this. But then we've also got the option to do our face. And so now we can kind of move around. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> now, if we want those extra controls over here to be kind of more profesh, even though I never really use them, but the option is there. What we'll do is we'll go back into the content browser over into CC rigs. And then we've got this um, picker thing. We right click on that and run editor unity widget bring it up here and now we can specifically target those areas so we'll click up here and we'll go rig and then for instance if i want that head you know we can start rotating so on and so forth um, and we can change from the ik's to the fk's as well uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go we can kind of you can see a very simple animation um if you want more unreal stuff let me know